I'm going to give you a little tutorial on how to draw a uh, tapered blood vessel. And as I happen to be using it in this illustration on a pancreatic duct and a um, common hepatic duct. So let's jump in. So the first thing we're going to do is just set up a generic brush here. Um, and if I go to new brush presets, and I'm going to make a new brush, and let's just give it a name. Uh, this is my duct and vessel brush, I guess. Then from there, we're going to go to windows and uh, brush settings. And first thing is the brush tip shape. And I'm going to adjust the size. And then I turn the hardness all the way up and the spacing down uh, just to like 10 or 15% just to make it a little bit smoother. And I'm just going to go ahead and speed uh, the speed up here through um, the duct. Then once I get all the uh, blood vessels or ducts in there like I like. I'm just going to come in here and kind of smooth some of the transitions because they came off they came off kind of stiff um, and this will help with our next step which is going to be putting the lighting on this. Okay the final step on here is going to be um, throwing on the lighting so if we double click on here and we open a layer style and I go to a color overlay I can choose uh, whatever color I want. I can make it red for a blood vessel. Um, I can make it blue for an artery. I mean, a vein. Uh, any color you want. And I will often work in uh, just a dark color and then just do a color overlay on top of something. Then next, I'm going to go to um, to uh, bevel and um, emboss, and I'm just going to throw on an inner bevel and adjust the lighting. And there I have a drawn and shaded blood vessel or duct with very little work. It really speeds up the illustration process. And the final thing I do is I will just take the opacity back, throw a new layer over it, and do my line work right on top of it. You can, in the um, layer styles, you can go in and throw a stroke on there, but the stroke ends up looking pretty stiff, and I don't really care for the way it looks, so I like to uh, spend a little extra time going in and um, hand drawing the outline. And there you have it. I hope you um, found the tutorial helpful, and I hope that it speeds up your workflow.